Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in today for your word for the day. We're continuing to unpack this uh, incredible passage in Colossians chapter 1. So if you've got a Bible or Bible app, uh, go ahead and open it, and uh, hopefully you can do that and listen to this. But if not, just read the Bible. It's more important than than, uh, my words because they're perfect and I'm not. But that's a whole other topic. But today, uh, we're continuing to look through the the passage of uh, Colossians uh, 1, verses 15 through 20, that unpacks some, some really important statements of who Jesus is. I want to read this, and we're going to focus on verse 16 together. It says this, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. We talked about that yesterday. If you missed that one, you can go back and catch that. Verse 16, it says this, For by Him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. That's the verse we're going to unpack today. Verse 17 continues, says, he is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of the cross. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be looking at verse 16. By him, all things were created on heaven, on earth. All things were created through him and for him, the end of that verse says. And, and let me preface, I didn't mention this in yesterday's episode. There is so much in this passage. Each of these could be a full sermon as we look at one verse. So uh, I encourage you, if you have a study Bible, continue to dive into some of these, these statements through the study notes and, uh, and really unpack this. But, but it is so important what is communicated in verse 16 here, that, that we have to understand Jesus didn't have a beginning point. Now we celebrate his, his earthly arrival and birth with Christmas. That wasn't the beginning point of his existence. Jesus didn't just arrive onto the scene, you know, back in the first century on, you know, what we now celebrate as December 25th, although it's likely not the date that it actually happened. That wasn't his beginning point. No, it says that, that he, that everything was created because of him. And John 1 uh, lays that out even more. It says this, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God, referring to Jesus. All things were made through him. Without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. I had to read those last two verses because they're so incredible. But Jesus was there from the beginning. He is eternal. He has always existed, and he was a part of speaking and bringing everything into creation, which is important for a couple of reasons that we can unpack that the the same Jesus who was a part of creating everything was also the one who came and died for you, that he was aware of, of the beginning and the entirety of all existence and was aware of God's plan of salvation that meant salvation for you. The same Jesus who spoke everything into existence loved you enough to humble himself to the point of death, even death on a cross, Philippians 2 says. And the same Jesus who we urge you to follow created you, created everything about your life, so will you submit and follow him. There's a reason that we say obedience to Jesus is so important. There's a reason Jesus himself says, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I say, not obey me? So today, will you follow Jesus? Will you prioritize obedience to him? Because he created everything. And everything, it says, was made for him, including your life. Your life was created to bring glory and honor to Jesus. So will you do that today? Because Jesus is eternal, and he's created you and created you to serve him. We hope that you will do that. Have a great day, Calvary.